I'm in the middle of a conversation, Prince Harry's response to Palisades who tried to hurry him along as he comforted a grieving widow who joined him on his Sydney Harbour Bridge climb. Prince Harry is famously passionate about causes close to his heart, and so was less than impressed when royal aides attempted to cut short his conversation with a war veteran's widow. The Duke of Sussex took part in the Sydney Harbour Bridge climb on Friday joined by three representatives from Team Australia at the Invictus Games, including Invictus Ambassador Gwen Churn, whose husband served in Cambodia, Afghanistan, and Iraq, and who took his own life in February this year. Prince Harry, who has spoken openly of his own mental health struggles after losing his mother at the age of 12, and founded the Invictus Games to support sick and wounded servicemen was snapped embracing the mother of three, with whom he had discussed grief and loss. Gwen has since said that aides attempted to hurry the Duke of Sussex along as they talked, but he told them simply, I'm in the middle of a conversation. When Harry's entourage attempted to move things along the Duke was less than impressed, with Gwen revealing he insisted on staying put. She told People magazine, he stopped and said, I'm in the middle of a conversation, and I'm not going to leave this. We were talking about my story and mental health and how difficult it is still, in our society, to talk about grief and loss and suicide. And how important things like the Invictus Games are to shedding light on, and allowing people to start to have these conversations that are great to have. The conversation clearly meant a great deal to Gwen who said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex helped to promote optimism. She said, I think they, Harry and Meghan provide this beacon of hope and light for so many. They're touching, they're shining that interest on the games, and that shines light on their service and that shines light on the sacrifices their families make. I was humbled by the opportunity to spend that time with him and grateful for all he is doing given his place in the world. The royal couple, who are expecting their first child together, touched down on the island of Fiji on Tuesday. The young royals have another busy day ahead of them when they arrive as they meet the president of Fiji, enjoy a welcome ceremony at Albert Park and then a reception at the Grand Pacific Hotel. Pregnant Meghan's Australian schedule was scaled back on Sunday and Monday but the Duchess is expected to be by her husband's side at all their planned engagements in Fiji and Tonga, according to media reports. The Duchess is to visit the Pacific Island nations despite fears over the Zika virus going against travel advice that pregnant women should consider not traveling to the countries because of the moderate risk of catching the tropical disease. But Kensington Palace said the couple had sought medical advice and decided to continue with their plans, with no change expected to their itinerary.